Welcome everybody to uh, Living Your Best Life with Jordan Bella. Fun Fridays. Yes, uh, this is our episode three of our story. Hope you enjoy it. We are definitely enjoying this beautiful de sunny day here I in our think backyard. Spring has arrived. Come on. <laughs> so we hope you enjoy our um, our story. Yes, our journey. How did the wedding go? Wow, we had... One year to prepare. One year to prepare. I was in high school. I had just graduated. I you were in high school. in grade and, 12. Uh, we had... You were working for the bank at the time. Yes, I was. And uh, we had a part-time job together. Yes. And we were uh, planning all of this. We didn't have much funds. <laughs> so we <laughs> decided to get a part-time job after school. And after your regular job, regular day job, job, we started cleaning these offices downtown Winnipeg. Oh my gosh, Winnipeg! <laughs> so we, uh, yeah, we needed to pay for this wedding. That's right. We and want we, to make sure that we go into the wedding like that's debt free. free. So we we got a job, and um, and together we, uh, you know, in between uh, schoolwork, your job. We uh, we got this part-time job and we started planning. And we're planning. And we had about how many people in the wedding? I think we had about 120 people in our wedding, more or less. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were several Portuguese weddings actually on that, on day. that day. And uh, it was funny because uh, even on uh, on the venue that we had, there was another. Uh, how many people did we have in our bridal party? We had, I don't know, but I think... We had the choir came. We all, had a choir, they, and it was probably like, what, 20 people in the choir? At least. And, and then we had our bridesmaids and uh, right. ushers and stuff. I think we're closer to 30 people. Maybe. So that was so much fun. <laughs> but listen, guys, this is late. This is this late. Is, this is 1989 to 1990, because we got so, married in 1990. Uh, the guys were dressed in... Oh my lord. Great. We look girls, at the pictures now. The girls were uh, in Girls, baby I'm so <laughs> sorry that I made you wear that dress. I look at pictures now and I'm like, come on. Listen, the girls were in baby pink. <laughs> and you say you don't like pink, but meanwhile your hair is pink and you decided to ask these girls to wear pink with all with these this, and the big big bows and fluffy things. <laughs> Anyways, so we got married. Yes. And then it was a great day. It was we a beautiful so day. Fun. We had it the way we wanted. Right. You know, like there's always a glitch here and there, right. but, but we planned it, we organized it, and we did it together. Right. So, you know, the cake was uh, the way we wanted the cake. The guest was who we wanted yeah, to be with true. us. Um, the decorations, you know, like we, did, we didn't have much fun funds, but we made it fun. Right, we made it fun. Of course, if it's not fun, we don't want to ask that. <laughs> So anyways. And some and family and, and all, it was good. Yeah, and then we left that the day after we went on our honeymoon to Lisbon. To Lisbon, Portugal, which I'm from the islands, Belle is from uh, the mainland. She's from the capital city, Lisbon. So I wanted to show you my neck of the right, woods. Right, because I had never been there and your parents had a, a condominium in Lisbon. Downtown Lisbon. So we decided why not take advantage of that. Yes. And then we we had a wonderful time in Lisbon, in Portugal. We we went to the beach. We were just on our way to Lisbon. Lisbon. We were on the uh, <laughs> uh, we were on the, on the airport plane? or on the plane on or the something. Plane. Somebody asked if we were brother and sister. I'm like, no, we just got married. We're husband and wife. And they're like, oh, we're debating because you guys look so much alike, but right. then you look like you're in love, so we weren't sure. Like, yes, we are in love, and uh, we're definitely not brother we and sister. <laughs> <laughs> Our first year of marriage. Oh, wow. You really want to know, huh? We almost did not make it the first year of marriage. That is correct. Keep in mind, we've dated for three years, and during those three years, during the day, we're always together. Always together. So we, you know, like we went to school together. We yeah. had lunches and dinners and breakfasts and everything together. We, we worked had together. worked together, so we were constantly together. And uh, so we thought getting going into a marriage was going to be super easy um, because we were right. just we're doing everything together everything except tonight. Good. So it's going to be great. And well, that's when well, the fun began because when we got married, you're very strong. You're very personalities. strong personalities. <laughs> 
when you put two strong personalities together, fireworks we happen. We don't fight. We only have intensive fellowship moments, people. So every argument, no one became none of, intensive fellowship yeah, moments. Yeah, because none of us um, wanted to back down. No. And we were like, no, I'm right. No, you're right. You know, like we're like when you we're make just two rights, super stubborn. Until it took me about a year to realize that um, being right is not what really matters. Mm -hmm and understanding what the Bible said about being married and the roles of a husband and a wife in a marriage. And uh, once I understood that, that just by, because, you know, like the Bible well, says- you lived in a, you lived in a city uh, where you were very independent. Mm -hmm. So you went to school, you know, about an hour away from, from home. Uh, and, you know, your mom and dad worked outside of the house. So you're, you know, Lisbon is a pretty large city. Yes. So you're constantly uh, going and coming by yourself. So, you know, you're a very independent person. I learned how to be independent right. and uh, like, uh, um, you know, take care of my own money mm -hmm. and just making decisions on my own. And keep in mind, I'm still very young. Right. Uh, you know, and, but our first marriage, our and first I'm year what? was. I'm 19 years old. Yes. So it was like this power struggle going on. Yeah. Until I actually, like I said, we we're realizing that in a marriage there is a head, and that, that as a wife I, sh I needed to be submissive to him, and him as a husband needed to love me, which meant that, you know, like he would put my interests first. So when we understood that when we actually uh, played the roles of the Bible as was putting in front of us as a husband and wife, that things would totally be different. And there's no longer a power struggle, but there is this partnership. But does that mean that the intensive fellowship moment's finished? Oh, no. Definitely not. <laughs> you, should have, you should have seen us before this day. <laughs> I want that side, if now I want not, this side. Yeah, if it's not fun, we don't want But you know, you can have intensive fellowship moments and still love each other. And have fun. And have fun. <laughs> And then, and then laugh about and it. And laugh about it at the end. <laughs> and, and 30 years later, still, you know, going at it. I always tell Bella, well, not always, but most of the times, um, when we have anticipation. Pretty much always. Almost, <laughs> almost. I always remind her, even in the midst of, a, a, most of the times in the midst of, a, of an anticipation moment, I say, you said for better or for worse. If this is the worst, you're doing great. <laughs> Which... It's then I start laughing because right. it is true. So we, we understood that uh, we needed to compromise a lot. And we're still learning through that. And Because um, we go from glory to glory. And understanding each other's roles and needs and, uh, and yes, perspectives. Yes, that Bella needs extra time to put <laughs> lipstick on and get her nails going. Huh? And, uh, look, and at Toby. look at Tobes. <laughs> Tobes one just wants to be with us. And, uh, you know, she's different than me. Definitely different than Definitely. you. Definitely. <laughs> so anyways, you know what the thing was? Even though it, during that, this is why the Bible says that you should leave your mom and dad mm -hmm. and, and be on your own. Because I feel that if we had been with uh, family members, because sometimes couples that live with family members in the first year of marriage or, you know, in the first few years, you know, they bounce things off of to, the parents. to parents or even friends. We only had each other even though our family was around, uh, but not living with us. So we've learned we that. Did, we did say that in the beginning of the, our uh, relationship, even right. before we got married, that whatever problem was coming between us, we were gonna solve it together. Yeah, because then people, you know, when you talk to them about me, or I talk to them about you, then they see. Through those, gla through through those, those lenses. lenses, right? Yes. So when then all the fellowship is gone, meaning the intense fellowship is gone. <laughs> now, you we're know. We're back in, we're, we're like, everything's normal. Laughing and life but goes normal. But people that you've talked about, your spouse, right. will see that spouse through right. those lenses. Right. They don't see the, the good things about it. They'll just have this idea of what you just shared. So that's why it's so just important to just keep things, um, I mean, I'm not saying to, we're not saying to, uh, you know, like stay in a, in a relationship that is abusive or anything right. like that. That is not what we're no. saying at all. Uh, but we just have to couple, navigate and learn yeah. how everyone... Because we're not the same person. So right. we have different uh, different aspects and we have different views of things. Even though like we're now 30 years later... I know because some couples say, well, you know, uh, we never argue. And we've been married for X amount of years and we never have uh, an intensive fellowship moment or, or argue. I, I have a problem with that because you're two different people. 
And when you're two different people, you have to navigate through some stuff. You have two different opinions. Right. You know, you have likes uh, and dislikes, and I have likes and dislikes. So you have to learn how to navigate through those. And there's going to be moments where you're going to say no or yes or I agree or disagree. <laughs> because if we're always saying I, dis I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, then one is not living and being fulfilled in, in a relationship. That is right. But guess what? We made it. Because <laughs> we're here almost 30 years later. We made it. So there's, there's, there's hope. There, there is hope for everybody else hope. out there. There's if, hope. <laughs> if you're going through a challenging year, right. uh, just stick to course yeah. and just uh, honestly, just uh, uh, look at what the Bible says about right. the, the relationships and about a marriage and understand your role. Because right. when we do understand our roles, things that get a lot easier. So where did we go from the first year? So after the first year, uh, we realized that we are better together That's right. than apart. And uh, we needed each other to link arms to conquer the world. That's and we right. went on a journey. Because we had a lot of dreams, a lot of things that we wanted, even build a family while we were still young. So uh, we had to really uh, focus on the task ahead in the years ahead so stay tuned yeah so stay tuned for the next episode if you're loving the uh, these episodes and if you're loving our story don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click that little bell that's right so you know when the next video is up or other videos that come up so we thank you for um coming on the journey with us thank you for tuning in be blessed and be a blessing <laughs>